Liam, you ended the year with a comfortable win over Zoldan and Sarah in 2014. When you fight in March, do you want someone who gives you that fear? Yeah, Steve, definitely. Yeah, yeah. No, I asked for the all, you know, for the last, the last one, and just the type, of, just the type of person I am. Different people have got different personas, and some people like to take over fight. Some people, some people like, you know, different types of fights. I, I think I need my type of person. I need that bit of fear in me, and to to bring the best out of me. Really, it's not, it's not a bad thing, and. It's just thing things I'd like. I'm a type I do like you know, I like tough fights, I like good fights, hard fights, I like to get people talking about these, these type fights and you know, hopefully two thousand and fifteen people will start talking about my fights. When was the last time you went into the ring with that fear? You know, it may be in the back of your mind you were thinking, This is one where if I don't perform I could come unstuck. You no, know, Mark Thompson. Thompson it was and uh, cause I, I had a bit of fear. Not, not as I say, fear. I never, I knew I would never ever lose to Chang, and I, I don't, don't think about losing. But I knew the Chang fight I was going to be in for an awkward night, so that's what got me. You know, that's what got a little bit of fear into me. I didn't want to look bad. I, I thought his style could make me look bad, and say the Thompson. I, I just pictured the Thompson of old, and you know, and that got a bit of fear into me. And I knew the stars would gel for a good fight, so. I thought, you know, we could be in for a for a tough good, good fight here and like I say, but well, his style was made for me, I did say beforehand. There's talk at the press conference that it could be for a WBO final eliminator. Would that is that the sort of fight that would satisfy you? Yeah, definitely, you know, as I say, I wanna push towards a world title now and I, I think I'm just a, you know, a little bit ahead of that bunch and like I said before with with, with, with Paul Butler and, and people fighting for world titles. I don't mean to disrespect any of them, but it's just timing. I'm ahead of that, that bunch at this time. A couple of them are not ready to step up and, you know, a couple of them don't want to. So I think, I, I, I think I'm ready and I, and I do want to step up. So I think it's now, now it's my time to just get on that ladder and start pushing towards my, my, my world title fight. And you've been desperately unlucky with injury, so it must be vitally important that you don't have any hiccups yeah. that way this year. Yeah, I said to you last time, 2015 for me is just injury free. I, I, you know, that, that, that's my wish for 2015, just stay injury free and I'm 100% confident if I'm injury free, I'll do my job. I'm 100% confident in beating people in front of me, so if I do my job, Frank and Jason and you know the team do their job, then we should be in for a good year. And if it is a WBO final, then you, you, know, there, you could fight for a vacant title because there's a lot of speculation that Andretti is going to move up soon, isn't there? Yeah, there is, yeah, and I think he's fighting one of the Charlo twins. Which is a, you know, a fight I'd like if Starless do, that's a good fight for me and that'll gel for a good fight. But you know, so you know, ideal scenario, I hope Charlo beats Andrade, but you know, there's rumours Andrade's gonna move up and just just just, just all create all kinds of rumours, so I'll just concentrate on me and what I'm gonna do and if it's a W final eliminated it's then then it's that. When you look at all the elite eleven stand fighters in the world, who do you look at and say is who is number one? Well, that's what I mean, Mayo. That I, 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 there was talks I could be fighting for the WBA interim title. Mayo, the WBA super champion, which is you know that's just tied up. He's not going to fight that light no. middleweight again, and so that that he's also WBC light middleweight champion. So there's two of the titles took already, and you know he's not going to ever fight a mandatory. And you know the governing bodies are never going to force him to fight a mandatory. You know Sergio Ravchenko was his mandatory for God two knows years. how long. Yeah, two years. And uh, so then two titles are tied up. The other two is Demetrius Andrade, who thinks a good fighter, beatable, but a, a good fighter, getting better. And um, Bundridge, who I think I beat now, and he's not going to get no better. And I think he's, you know, he's how old he's taking on, isn't he? And Might be forty. Forty, yeah. yeah. I think he's only going to be on the slide now. So you know, the other two titles, which are going to be available to go for, because Mayo is not the champion, then I'm, I'm confident to go in either one of them. I would like the Bundridge fight because I think I'd beat him next. It's going to be hard getting him over, I should think. Yeah, well, I, 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 I thought maybe we might have had a chance of getting him over here because, you know, he does travel. He does travel to Mexico to win the title. I know anyone would do that now. He's champion. He doesn't have to travel. But, you know, if the right money's there, then I think he would travel. And Coming to the back end of his career and, you know, he's just going to be interested in his money now. He's, so I thought we may have had a chance, but obviously not. And of course, you've still got the British title, and you know you want to get that Lonsdale belt before any of your brothers get to one, don't you? Yeah, 
it's just it seems to be a little bit of a burn on my back now. Obviously, it's I do want to move on, and as I can say, I'm ready to move on. But while I'm on two notches of that title, and I'm still champion, then I don't know really. I would love to have it, but as I say, if it's a final eliminator, I can't knock that back. You know, my ambition is to be a world champion. And, you know, being British champion, I've had three British title fights. No one can ever take that away from me. It's, you look in the history, I'm going to be there. It's not going to be wiped because I don't win it outright. So, you know, I'm going to see how far I can go and then we'll, you know, I'll go as far as I can go. And if it doesn't happen, then I'll come back to win my last British title. End of 2015, will you be a world champion? If I fight for one, yes.